PDP crisis deepens as WK loyalists pull out of Atiku's campaign. And tonight on Civic Education, we discuss the call by former President Goodluck Jonathan to shun violence ahead of 2023 election. This is Plus Politics. I am Mary Ann Nicole. The last may not be heard of the crisis in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as Governor Yusun Wike led tendency um, in the party has pulled out of the Presidential Campaign Council of Atiku Abubakar, except the party's national chairman, Dr. Yocha Ayu, steps down. The resolution of the Wike group to pull out of Atiku's campaign was taken at a meeting held in Wike's country home in Obiakpo yesterday. Prominent members of the group, including founding members of the party, governors, former ministers and leaders of the party, made the stance known in a resolution read by the former deputy national chairman of the party, Chief Olabade George. This, nonetheless, uh, IU yesterday assured the party's social uh, media handlers of massive support and encouragement to enable them effectively communicate PDP's message of hope, unity, restoration and development to the Nigerian public, noting that the opposition PDP was a party of ideas. Well, joining us to discuss this is John Shoaibu. He's a member of the People's Democratic Party and he's joining us live from Abuja and Darlington Orji, former publicity secretary of the People's Democratic Party in River State, uh, who's joining us from Port Hacker. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being part of the conversation tonight. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for having me. Great. Um, Darlington, I'll start with you because you are uh, of the PDP in River State and this uh, conversation um, happened in Obiakbo yesterday. Um, can you give us an idea why the, the followers and supporters of Governor Wiki and every other person who, were, who was part of that event yesterday um, decided to take uh, this uh, position? I'm having an audio problem. I don't think you can come back to Okay, I'm asking, why do you think that the PDP and those who are following your governor decided to take this position? Are you asking about the position taken by the government to the government of the United States and his uh, colleagues? Yes. Okay, thank you for the opportunity that I give to you in the explanation of this. But I would like to tell you that by the moment of 10 o'clock, I'm very happy of listening to the government of the United States and all the national traditions in Nigeria, including uh, I will say that I can tell you that uh, the issue is not about wicked. The issue is not about wicked. The issue is about practicing what you preach. We are complaining that the APC government has failed Nigerians, that the, up the promises made by the APC administration they could not keep to death. Ranging from the $1 to $1 naira, the fuel price and all of that. And we are telling Nigeria, give. Darlington, are you there? I think that we're having a connection problem with you. Are you still there? Uh, I think that Darlington has dropped off that call. Well, let me come to you, John, until we're able to get um, Darlington back on that call. John, um, now the- Hello, can you hear me? Oh, okay, great. We lost you for a second, go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead. Okay, I'm saying, and we are talking to Nigeria, give us opportunity, we are going to make Nigeria better. We need to start by demonstrating the practicing of what we preach. And we will not preach a different thing, and we will practice a different thing, and you expect Nigerian people to entrust power on you. Take for instance, our national chairman, Dr. Yocha Ayu, said if a candidate from the Northern Extraction emerges at the presidential primary, I will stop that for equity and balance of power. Now, 
He has finished the primary and by his special grace of God, and people have smashed. And all of us, the believe in his excellence to the government of the earth, he has never said that the sins of God are not our presidential candidate. But we are saying, you made the promise to people, to the Nigerian people, that if a Northern I imagine you are going to step down, why find it difficult when you have not been trusted power? Then what will Nigeria do or what will happen to Nigeria when opportunity is given to us and we never only Darlington, I'd like to quickly ask you a question. Um, there are cases that have been we made on if a Northern I imagine. Yeah. A Northern of the match. Da Darlington, I have a question if you can hear me. Can you hear me, Darlington? Darlington? Yes, can you hear me? Because I have a question. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. There is a case that has been made in terms of the stepping down of um, Yocha Ayu. The PDP uh, hasn't necessarily won this election yet. It's not that you're in power or anything. And so there's a, th there are those who are saying, why not wait after the election uh, where you do have, if you do have a president who is from the north, then you can decide that you will reassign these positions properly so there be balance. Why the hurry? And the, uh, the people who are also asking, and I'm posing the question to you, if Governor Wike were to have been made the vice presidential candidate for the PDP, would we be still asking for Yocha Ayu to step down? Yes. The answer is yes, we have asked for. But now let me tell you, it has been a lot of people and we are bringing for a national campaign. Who are the people that we manage the affairs of PDP? Three sets of people. The candidates, the party chairman, national party chairman, and the director general of campaign. My guess is that these three people are from the Northern extraction. And you will agree with me that the heart of PDP in Oh, Darlington, I think that um, your network is very faulty. Darlington, you're just going to hold. Let's go to John. Um, John, I'd like to take your thoughts on the recent developments. Even though Governor Wiki has come out this evening to say that he's not leaving the party, despite the crisis and the push, for the uh, national chairman to be removed, he's saying he's not going anywhere because there have been speculations that Governor Wike might just be moving to the Labour Party or maybe even the um, opposition, which is the uh, ruling party. But what is your take about all what's happening right now? Mike, well, uh, before the primary... So no, 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 no. Da Darlington, sorry, Darling Darlington, sorry, this question is for, is for John. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank, uh, thank you, Maria. Um, on this issue of uh, this evening concerning the meeting that I held, in which uh, Governor Wiki called the stakeholders, River State PDP stakeholders, to meet to say his position that he's not going to leave the party, is a welcome development. Because as a party member and a stakeholder, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gladdened to hear that. Now, let's let's look at it the way it is. You posed a question to Darlington about uh, why won't uh, Governor Wiki and his crew wait till after election? After all, we've not won yet. Uh, because I want us to understand this. It is paramount for PDP to win and rescue this country from the hand of APC. Now, if Governor Wiki, who has sacrificed so much for the party over the years, and I believe others have done so, but we're referring to him now. I believe it's a time for him to sit back, look at it. Would my sacrifice go in vain? If he can think that one out, that whatever he's doing with his, with his other party leaders that are concerned about where, whether the chairman should, should resign or not, then if he has that mindset, they should sit down and say, look, you know what? What is paramount for us as party members? According to Wiki some time ago, he said, APZ is cancerous, and PDP is headache. So which one is better? As far as I'm concerned, is headache that PDPC has now is nothing that we can resolve. So for him, I believe that they should work hand in hand with the team and leave this issue of resign. We understand that he has to resign, but can we? afford to run 
a convention before the campaign starts. She will bog herself down with issues of the leadership of the party, knowing fully well we have a precedent of what happened during uh, Yadra's uh, uh, reign, where Colin Amodu had to midwife that election, and when we won and Yadra was uh, sworn in, uh, Chief Vincent de Blackwell was sworn in as a chairman. And that, for me, should suffice. Let us look at the bigger picture of Nigeria, the rest of Nigeria, and every concerned PDP member that want to see us back to lead nation, the nation, act of the doldrums that APC have kept us. So for me, I, I don't see why they cannot wait for, for this to go. And Darlington also made allusion that we have in the candidate, we have the candidate, the chairman, the director general. Governor Odom is a, cap, is a campaign chairman. So I believe the South is represented. We have the vice president of COA. I just I plead, as every other constituent PDP member would do, that the Governor Wiki should, uh, you know, take, uh, what they call, calm down. So can, uh, put the, let's put the party first before our own interest. And then Nigeria, the utmost. Um, um, John, I just, I just want to quickly jump in there. I know that Darlington would have loved to respond to this, but I have okay. had many people um, from the Southern Caucus on this show. And just as you said, Governor Wike needs to calm down. Uh, many people would say this is not a Wike versus the party. This is the Southern Caucus versus the party. They're saying that they're the ones who the party had promised. They're the ones who feel that the party has let them down. Now, I'm not a member of the PDP, but this is, this is the continuous... A response I've gotten from members of the Southern Caucus continuously harping on the fact that this is not a weak situation, it's a Southern Caucus. And just uh, imagine the number of people who were at that meeting yesterday. It wasn't just members of the PDP in River State, they were members of the PDP from the South South and other Southern parts of the country. So again, is this really not bigger than Governor Wiki, other than us continuously saying that it's just a weak problem? And if Governor Wiki were to in your words, calm down. What about the others? Now, Governor Wike is seen to be the arrowhead of this whole group. Because it's always about uh, Governor Wike, who is the champion of all this. Understandable. Because in any, any association, you have a leader. I can tell you today, if Governor Wike is just okay, guys, let us, let us calm down and sacrifice for the party. Everyone will fall in line. Because we can see that uh, Governor Shirima Kide, saw that when uh, Atiku visited the Southwest, some of them came and said they are for Atiku. All right? So it does not suffice. It, it, we should understand that at this point we are. The South is concerned, understandably. But let us look at the ultimate, the party, and Nigeria. Okay. Everybody has a stake, and I believe PDP being what it is, would know what to do and would do the right thing to make a swap. For heaven's sake, how do we bug ourselves now with a convention that will bring in other party, uh, other uh, leaders? Because if you have uh, IU resigning, automatically the, the deputy national uh, chairman will take over. So what happens then? Is it about IU or is that about the North? And if it's about the North, then if I resign, automatically, but constitutionally, according to the party, the deputy national chairman takes over. Then we begin to swap. Then where do we begin to fight for who to be the secretary? Do we just impose people and say, look, be the secretary, be the chairman? It doesn't work that way. Let's, let's be constitutional about this. Mm. Let us, it's just four months, five months, everything will end. But for me, I will plead, I will still keep pleading that Governor Wiki should please sacrifice once again, because history will remember him for good. Okay. History will remember all of them for good. Uh, let me just pose one question before I go back to um, Darlington. Now, the immediate former governor of Plateau State, Senator Jonah Jang, dropped a bombshell today talking about the fact that the chairman of the party, the national chairman, was had a hand in... Um, Wike losing out of the presidential ticket that he was in cahoots with Tambor 
um, to, you know, read Wike off that ticket. Um, would you like to respond before I go back to Darlington? Yes, I would like to respond. Number one, Governor Tambua is an adult. And from the reports got him, uh, we heard he reached out to uh, Governor Wike before he declared, before Governor Wike declared his, that intervention, uh, his interest in running for presidency. Now, with that hindsight, and with the way, you know, politics, number one, is of interest, of dialogue. If there was a dialogue amongst the candidates or the aspirants at that time, and Governor Wicked decided, uh, Governor Tambua decided to step down for an article, I don't see that as, a, I don't see that as an issue. And for the chairman, Yes, exactly. we, have, we have issues where people might have issues with that, why he's a hero of democracy. But I doubt it. If he took the pressmen out there for them to record that particular, uh, what's it called, scene or what he said. It was, you know, normally anybody with Android would just post anything they like. I doubt if as a chairman, uh, you would want such a thing to go out. But having said that, having said that, if he says he's a hero of democracy, it means that probably... There, was, there would have been a deadlock. Who knows? I don't know what, what, what transpired for him to have said that, but I doubt if they are in cohorts. Mm. Because, number one, don't forget, uh, Governor Wicked that night, I was at the convention till the end. I was a member of the, co the uh, committee. We, nobody knew, no, everybody was okay what would happen until that last, that last minute uh, move. And, you know, there, there was a context because dialogue is what politics is all about. Interest is what politics is all about. Negotiation is what politics is all about. Okay. So imagine, let's assume, if Governor Wiki had probably quickly dialogued or negotiated with a Governor Udom or, any, or, 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 or Chief, uh, Chief Ayin, the former Senate president, and he fell on his own side, what will, what will people say? Mm, interesting. So it's a game. So Governor Jang, I believe, he, he got it wrong. I, I will say that he shouldn't, as an elder, you should not fuel this kind of thought line. Okay, let me... Well, this kind of thought line is not good for the party. It's not good for the overall interest of the party. Okay. Let me go back to Darlington. Darlington, can you hear me? Um, looking at what Governor uh, Jang has said, and of course, coming back to your governor, Governor Yeson Wike is saying he's not going to leave the party. But then, of course, all of the conversations that we've had, week in, week out... Uh, has his name plastered boldly on it. What um, does this position, this resigning or not t participating in the uh, campaign of the presidential flag bearer, what does this mean for the PDP even in your state? And of course, if the governor is saying they're going to retain PDP seats in River State, uh, is this not also drawing a line of divide within the party? How can a house divided by its, uh, within itself stand? Darlington, can you hear me? Uh, I think that we uh, do no, we no longer have Darlington. Darlington, can you hear me? Unfortunately, I think we lost Darlington, Audrey. But uh, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming back to you again, uh, John, with this. How okay. can a house divided against itself stand? Because it now looks like the, the situation, the quagmire that the party has found itself in, is also somewhat of a drawback being that you're a few days away from campaigns starting in earnest. Where do we go from here? Well, for me, uh, if, if uh, for what Governor Wicked said today, that definitely is not even the party, is going to support every, even to the governorship, to the senator, uh, senatorial uh, seats and uh, rep, House of Rep seats, that PDP will claim. Yes, very okay. But the question is, if there will be a political suicide for Governor Wicked to say, vote for uh, House of Rep, vote for PDP, uh, what they call Senate, for Rivers uh, candidates, and don't vote for Article. It will be a political suicide. How do you even do that? Right? So I, I, I see him, I, I, should, I, should see, I should see a situation in which uh, Governor Wicked should, like I said earlier, Give this last sacrifice. You become the hero of all this at the end of the day. Because what I told one of our leaders yesterday, one of our governors yesterday, who is part of them, was that, look, history has a way of remembering people for either good or for bad. No matter how aggrieved we are. 
All right. So it, we, we should, I, I don't see also um, any 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 what's it called breakdown of unity at the end of the day. I think that PDP is going but to survive I know, this before I know, the election. I know one thing that before election, before the election, as the campaign is building up, stuff will still be made up. Mm. They will agree. There will be a meeting. There will be negotiation. And there will be compromise. And when that compromise comes, at the end in February, when voting starts, I see a governor, we can say, Atiku is my candidate. Because there are reconciliatory efforts. Okay. The BOT are working. Okay. There are reconciliation committees on. Uh, individuals, these friends, political leaders, stakeholders are talking. And we keep talking. Okay. Politics is about talking and talking. Okay. At the end of the day, I see you, uh, uh, the umbrella remaining strong, the party remains strong, and coming out tops at the end of the day. All right. Well, but then, Governor Wiki should once again sacrifice for the party because I know it's important to us, it's important to Nigeria in this dispensation. Well, I want to say thank you, and I wish the PDP the best of luck as you get ready for campaign season. John Schweibu is a member of the People's Democratic Party, and Darlington Oji, um, former publicity secretary of the PDP in River State. Thank you so much for speaking with us, gentlemen. Thank you very much. All right. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. When we get back, we'll be continuing our conversation on the civic space and we're going to be talking about a violence-free campaign season because the season is upon us. Stay with us.